Long ago, by a river, sat an ancient civilization, ancient China. China held many things, such as inventions, but there was one that stood out, dragons. These beasts live in mythology and many stories. Dragons lived by the water, for they would be the guardians of that water. The beast protected riches, like a magic pearl, which would multiply the thing it touches overnight. The Chinese dragon was long and serpent -like, with the head of a camel, ears of a cow, eyes of a demon, horns of a stag, neck of a snake, belly of a clam, scales of a carp, claws of an eagle, and paws of a tiger. He would be nice, but if enraged, he would said floods and storms. Why did I call the dragon a he? Well, dragons represented all things male, of course. They also represented the emperor of China, hence why they are on some thrones. The imperial dragon had been represented with five claws instead of four, like the lower beasts. Dragons had many festivals with them, such as the dragon boat race. Guardian dragons were dragons that protected a water source, and under the water they would have a palace with all their riches. They would give the riches to humans that pleased them. Dragons were thought to be responsible for the invisible lines around the world. Oh, how beautiful dragons are. I must depart now. I hope you learn more of the great civilization by the Yellow River.